brother. Welcome, welcome to the fast life. OG risk folks. Well, I actually grew up in New Orleans. Um, and it's kind of funny because that's the last place you would expect to see some, some colors and neon like this, but that's the kind of artwork I remember seeing in the French Quarter. Don't know who did it, wish I did, because it was like, I remember when I, when I was a kid, I was like, when I grew up, I want to do stuff like that. You know, when I started doing graffiti here, there wasn't really anything to look at here. So I had to look at the, the New York graffiti. And the first piece I ever did, you know, I was at uni high and I went and I painted the, I couldn't even wait for nighttime. It was just dusk and I just did the bungalows and when you just smell that paint and you see the piece and it was, it was terrible. But I remember just looking at it when it was done, I thought it was so cool, it was so big and, and you just get the smell and I was addicted. Like, it was kind of crazy back then because you get busted and it wasn't this epidemic like they have now. So I remember getting busted with uh, Charlie and he was doing a porn piece and I was doing a risk piece and it was this crazy chase and dogs and infrared and helicopters and they busted us and when we got to jail they had the Polaroids and they're showing us and I'm like what the fuck is this and I was like oh I was mine was gonna say um, take the risk live life drug free and his was gonna say stop kitty porn because his sister is molested we said some crazy shit and they're like oh wow really you know and they let us go but you know this day and age that wouldn't happen <laughs> You know, to be honest with you, without sounding corny, I'm trying to give back now. You know, I work with kids and I want to show them what they can do. And um, if I can say anything to people, is you know, you know, be positive and follow your dreams. You know, everything will work out. I guess I got involved with Famous Art and Traps years ago when I used to do Third Rail, and uh, Travis was a friend of mine. And when he started Famous, I started doing some stuff with him every once in a while. Well, Travis called and they wanted to do some of the lobby. The lobby needed some help to start up. <laughs> You know, it just looked, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. It's just they, they, they hadn't really done anything to it. So he wanted to give it a little um, personality, which I thought was really cool because I've been trying to design a little bit and not just do straight painting and graphics. So all the materials I use for my stuff is, is like cement, steel, glass, you know, anything you would see on the streets, that's basically what I use. So the lobby is like a polished version of that. You know, we have steel frames and then we have some really nice, um, aviator chairs out of uh, real polished um, metal and then you know we have you know the neon and the painting I think it came out really cool I did some of the beautifully destroyed washes um, and I did you know my signature checkerboard splat with the, the famous logo and um, it looks really good you know it's clean and we picked out some really cool furniture and um, did these metal frames and stuff so uh, I'm really happy with it you know, Travis coined that phrase when he tattooed it on his neck and it's been kind of a, a, a motto of famous so I just thought it was really cool and it was something I wanted to do a little series of so I did this. Live fast, die fun.